Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video I'm going to show the basics of Linux shell variables. Shell variables are a very important top topic to understand because most shell scripts are going to reference variables and it's really an easy concept to learn. So basically a variable is just a name that represents a value. So for example, if we wanted to define a variable named state and give it the value Colorado, all we would do either on the command prompt or from within a script is type the name of the variable we want to create followed by an equal sign followed by the value that we want to assign the variable. So in this case the variable name is state and the value that we are assigning to it is Colorado. Now one common mistake people make is they'll put spaces around this equal sign when you're defining the variable and you can't have any spaces around it. You want the name equal Colorado with no spaces at all around that, those equal signs. Alright, to reference this variable we simply just do an echo dollar sign state. Now, one key thing to notice here, when we're defining the variable we don't put the, the dollar sign, but when we're referencing the variable later on we have to, to prefix it with a dollar sign what this says is the dollar sign tells the shell whatever is following here is the name of a variable. So, when we're defining the variable, no dollar sign. When we're referencing the variable later, you need to put a dollar sign in there. So when we type echo dollar sign state, what the shell is going to do is go get the value of this variable and display that instead of the word st state there. So, you can see the shell translated this back to its value and shows Colorado, which is the value of that, value of that variable. All right, so if you want to see all the variables that are defined on your system, you can either type env or printnv for print environment. And that'll show you all the variables on the system. And as you probably know, there are several um, variables that are predefined on your system that the that, that are log defined when you log into the system. For example, you can do echo dollar sign shell that'll show whatever login shell you're using. Um, another common one, if you do echo dollar sign question mark, that'll show you the return code of the last command that was run. And there's all kinds of other default um, variables that are built into the shell that are very useful to, to know and use. Alright, so in our first example, when we define the state variable, the value was just one word in here with no spaces. But you can, the, the, the value of your variable can contain spaces as long as you put the value there in quotes. For example, if I was defining a variable named kids and I wanted to list multiple um, names out here, I would start it with a quote and then list out the names and then end with a quote. And so the, what the quotes do will tell the shell here that this entire string here within the quotes is to be assigned to the variable named kids. So I'll go ahead and press enter here. I can type echo dollar sign kids and you can see all three names were assigned to this variable. Now one key thing to keep in mind is the variable name itself over here cannot contain spaces but like I said the value over here can contain spaces as long as you put it in quotes. Now one important thing we need to talk about is where the variables are visible at and exporting the variables. Now by default the variable we defined here is it's a local variable that is it's only available in this current shell. Now if I were to run a, a, a script right now from this shell that would start a subshell and the subshell would not have access to the state variable because it's only defined right now as a local variable that only this particular shell can see. And so we can see an example of that if I start a subshell by typing bash, which is basically the same thing that happens when you run another bash shell script. I type echo state. Well, since this original variable up here is a local variable and we're now in a child shell, it cannot see that variable 
from the parent shell unless we export the variable up here. So I'm going to type exit. This is going to take me back up here to my parent shell. And what we're going to do is we're going to type export state. And you can you notice here I did not put the dollar sign. That's because I'm with the export command you're referencing the variable name directly and and it's implied that it's a variable so you don't put the dollar sign. So we'll type export state. And now if I type bash again, type echo so now I'm in a subshell echo state. And now you can see the child subshell here now has access to the variable because we exported that variable. All right. So very important to understand exporting gives all child shells access to the variable. If you don't export, then only your current shell will have visibility into that variable. Now, if you want to get rid of a variable that's no longer needed, you can type unset and the name of the variable. And you can see that variable is now undefined. So it's that easy to get rid of a variable so if you want to define a variable, you can either you know type it right in here on the uh, command prompt like we've done in this uh, video, or if you're in working on a shell script, you can just include it as a line on your script. Um, but if you want to have a variable that's always defined um, anytime you log into the system, usually the best place to put that is in your uh, .bashrc file in your home directory, and this file is uh, sourced in every time um, you open a, a, a new shell and usually the way it's set up is your your, uh, your profile will also source the bash rc when you open your initial shell so basically the best place to put your variables that you want to have defined anytime you log in is in your dot bash rc file and normally you're going to want to export those variables that you define there so that they're available to, to children shells so the one last thing we'll talk about variables real quick is if you ever need to prompt a user in your script um, to, to type in something and load that into a variable. And really, it's, it's super easy to do. There's a read command, and you type in the name of the variable. So in this case, I'm you know, putting the read command, and the name of the variable is input. So I'll press Enter here, and you can see the shell's now prompting me for input here, and I can put some text. And what this does is whatever I, I uh, typed in, the read command will assign to the input variable, as you, as you can see there. So within your shell script, if you ever need to prompt the user for something and load that into a variable, all you do is use the read command followed by the variable name you want to um, have the, the data stored in and the shell will prompt the user um, and, and automatically load that into the variable. So I hope this uh, video was helpful in explaining the basics of Linux shell variables. Thanks and I hope you have a good day.